We're here today with the fresh update 2019.36.2.1. And I'm going to see if uh, the changes that Elon tweeted about for Smart Summon and it being better are there. Oh, oh look at that. Done. Okay. Did a good job. Come to me now. You driving it? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I was wondering what you thought it was an airplane or something, but you just got a car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just push the button and it'll come to you. That's nice. Thank you. <laughs> Hi there. Casey and Luna here with you again today. And we just got, last night, the middle of the night, 2019. Sorry, we got a Tesla update 2019.36.2. And uh, obviously when we get to the car, it's gonna play music and all that stuff, so I'll have to mute it. Uh, we're going to meet up with the DC Tesla Club. And I don't know what's on the agenda for today. So, we shall see. All right, so here's what's included for us. Uh, we have a 2018 and a half. Uh, it was built in August, delivered in September, pre-Raven, P100D with Autopilot 2.5 and MCU 2.2. 2. Uh, so we've got uh, scheduled departure, automatic navigation, and so that's it. We just got the two core features for this update. Uh, we don't have the cone visualization because we only have AP 2.5, even though we're still waiting on our FSD computer. And uh, we don't have the one-pedal driving because... Even though it works in autopilot, it does not work without the, the Raven motor for some reason. The second row seat warning is now red. It used to be gray. Um, I don't know if that's a failure of our sensor or something else because uh, it didn't used to do that uh, unless the, the seat was sitting there in like a half position. It was completely folded over like it is right now in Tesla bed mode. In Tesla bed mode, it uh, it would not normally complain. And now it is. And that's not new to this update, that's been at least version 10, if not uh, the very end stages of version nine. But uh, we're going to Yichan, a Korean restaurant, to meet up with the crew. We'll be 10 minutes late, which isn't bad considering that uh, neither myself nor Luna was uh, doing anything to move expeditiously today and so we'll catch you at the restaurant. I don't know if anybody there has objections to being filmed or whatever. Uh, they don't really know us all that well because we're new. We'll just play by ear. Catch you on the flip side. Okay we're gonna try again. I'm gonna show you the difference between how Tesla advertises this thing and how I think that you should actually try and use it. So we're gonna start the screen recorder again in three, two, one. All right. Luna's in the car and we're gonna go ahead and push the come to me button and see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't back up. Okay, good. That's, that's an interesting choice, but whatever. Shoot, my finger slipped off the button. Let's try again. I like that it just resumes whatever it was doing when you put your finger back on it. It's a nice touch.
there's trees there, girl. Uh, you stuck. <laughs> Okay, so they haven't completely fixed it. Good enough. All right, so let's get it out of the way, and then I'll show you what you should actually do rather than telling it to you at the sidewalk. Because if we call it to you at the sidewalk, it's going to park like this, and people who don't know what's going on are going to get pissed off. I'm going to change lanes and see if it tries to come across or if it keeps following me or what. Or if it's just going to go to where I was. <laughs> it's got to go across. So I think we found the uh, the new actor for Christine in the uh, in that movie with the automobile. <laughs> it just chases you down. All right, something complete. All right, let's put her someplace where she can reach. Okay, so we'll just pretend it parks correctly. And uh, here's how you should actually do it. So say you're, um, say this was a grocery store, not a bank. Um, you've come out, it's raining, right? So rather than standing on the curb and calling it to you and potentially blocking the way, what you ought to do is go to the end of the aisle right here. Uh, either one of these, three and then we'll just call it to us and say hey come pick me up that way you're only inconveniencing a couple of parking spots rather than the whole aisle so let's try again come to me Trying to decide what row I'm on. Don't cut this curve. There you go. And so this way, when the car comes to you and decides that it is fully parked, you're only blocking a couple spots while you get in and and do you you know you're getting ready to go motions. Summon complete. Catch you on the flip side. The supercharging text is much smaller on this version. Um, look at that. It used to be about two to three times that size. And I'm not going to go for this uh, high usage supercharging garbage. We're going to set this back to where we need it. There we go. 
And the charging screen itself still looks quite normal. I don't believe that 15 minutes for a moment because as you see it's 46 degrees out and our state of charge is quite high and our charge rate is quite low. Mostly because it's cold. So it's probably still using the same uh, algorithm to estimate the times it used last time which was not all that great. So that teeny tiny supercharger text used to be pretty much the same size as all the other numbers on my uh, trip computer there on the left. So that's what we found out so far with the uh, with the latest update. As far as the changes to Smart Summon, it is a lot more confident. It's a lot less afraid to go in reverse than it was in the past. It still has some weird, weird routing, like where it tucked itself into that corner. But uh, I wasn't afraid of it uh, hitting the curb or those weird uh, dune bushes. But uh, the thought did cross my mind. <laughs> so what I want to ask you to do is please like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, Leave a comment down below with your experiences or questions, and also if you could uh, subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, that would be awesome. Our goal is to get to a thousand subscribers before the new year, if we can. And uh, I think we might try when we get back to the apartment is we might try Smart Summon in a parking garage on the lower decks and see if it will still come to us. Uh, depends on what mood uh, Luna's in, because right now she's tired. And. Uh, so from there, um, if you'd also ring the bell, that would be great, because what that will do is it will let you know every time we have a new video out, uh, either a video, live stream, whatever. And uh, we think that, uh, well, first we want to thank you for your, you know, thank you for taking the time to watch these, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Okay, so this is the common scenario. Let's pretend that we are coming out of the store and it's raining. And we're now in front of the store and we're gonna call the car. Let's see if it behaves any better than on the last update. Go, all right, call the car. Disconnect. Try again. Please watch the car. Okay, I can do that. Parked. It's not that hard. Come on now. Come to me. There you go. You don't need, you don't need to back up. You're in the spot. <sighs> so far. It must be hitting itself. Sort of. Oh, 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 okay, so it's trying not to go across all the spots, but kind of yes. is. All right, we'll give you that. Yep, yep, there we are. Eh, close, close. All right, so now we're gonna do smart summon and send you somewhere else. How about you go back uh, down this road? Go. Because I told you to come to me. And I told you to go over there. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're going past the spot. Well, she's more confident than last last update. Let's see if this Honda Civic gives us any trouble. No. All right, and the spot I told you to go has got a car in it, so she'll probably stop next to it. I know. I'm watching. Yeah, there's a car there. You can't go. <laughs> Complete. Okay, so now let's call her back and see if it behaves any better. Um, as soon as all these people get out of the way. All right, let's try again. Come to me. In theory, she should go all the way around the thing. 
She might just back up and come to us. I mean, that works. I'm glad she's not afraid of reverse anymore because that last update, man, she would not reverse for anything. All right, so we're gonna go across the lot and then go somewhere else. Get in. Okay, so it's over there. We're, what, three rows over? What I'm gonna try to do is put it in the spot I'm standing in. We're close to it. We're gonna adjust this target. All right, what space are we in? This is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So right where that white car is. I want you to go there. All right, so the path it's gonna take is the same way I would go. It'll go forward, hopefully, and then come around. Let's try it out. Path clear. Go to target. So it didn't back up that time because the sensor said there's something behind it, which is accurate. Pausing for intersection. All right, let's get out of the space that it's supposed to be in. Pausing for intersection. Kind of rolled that speed bump, but whatever. Pausing for intersection. Yeah, but there's a car where you're trying to go. What you gonna do about it? Waiting for a pedestrian. It's waiting on my wife. <laughs> so there's a car where I told it to go. So let's. Okay, so I bet the, the GPS and the parking lot don't match up. Let's tell it this parking spot here, because there's a lot of open ones. Yeah, there's a car in that one too. Okay, uh, let's do another come to me. Come to me. Interesting choice. Pausing for intersection. Driving. Yeah, it's a lot speedier than it used to be. Which aisle are you going to use to get to me? Let's see what it does with this cross traffic. Waiting for path to clear. Waiting for path to clear. Waiting for path to clear. Come on, you can do it. There's nobody there. <laughs> Dunzo. Yeah, done. All right. Much better than it used to be. <laughs> All right, so that's that's the new version of Smart Summon, guys. We will catch you on the flip side. <laughs>